night, I get in some shit. Pull up on the nigga with the pipe out. Brr, brr, brr. Lights out. Today on the show, we got legendary rapper and producer The Chill of Compton's Most Wanted. He's just released a new album, Ultimate Gangster Shit. And welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me, man. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. How, how are you? I have no complaints whatsoever. I got my woman, I got my mama, I got my nephew and two of my kids, man. And it's a beautiful day in California. Nice, man. It looks nice and sunny out there. Yes, indeed. How old were you when you first started getting into music? Probably like professionally 16. Just a love for it, probably like around 11. And did you start off? Um, how did you first start the group, Compton's Most Wanted? Was that around the same time? Well, that's me and eight, my, my, my friend uh, of, of 12 years old to now. And, you know, we always wanted to be like a group like EPMD or Run DMC or NWA, or, you know, these EDP, these groups with these names. So, you know, on a good day, you know, we figured out some names, you know, and what stuck to Compton's Most Wanted, CMW. And that, 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 that's the end for now. Man, that's cool. It was your first project, the Compton Compilation Project? That was your... Yeah, that's the first time we... Uh, that's the first record we had. Um, that's the Lonzo. Um, that's when we met DJ Slip. They asked us to be on the compilation. And, you know, the rest is history, you know what I mean? But... You know, thanks for that comp that, that comp and compilation is the reason why we are who we are today. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's that's cool. And was that when was the first time you you got into producing, like other than rapping and because you, you do a bit of everything. I've always twinkled with the drums and the, and, the, and you know drum machine. You know, every time I know a slip will turn their back, I'll be trying to do something on their drum machines or whatever. Nine times out of ten, I was messing it up, but you know, at the same time, I was learning. You know what I mean? So once I got my a drum machine of my own, I really learned it. You know what I mean? And my partner from NWA, my boy, MC Ren, he gave me a shot. You know what I mean? I'm doing a track on his album. That, that track ended up being Shot Caller. I um, produced it as well as rapped on it. And from there, you know what I mean? This domino effect, Cocaine and Above the Law and Red Man and Snoop and Warren and Nate Dogg, Rest in Peace, 213 and you know, eight, and, you know, the rest is just history. Just got better and better and better, you know what I mean? And in some case, I'm more of a producer than a rapper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, I can't decide. You're so talented in either, either way. It's, it's, you just kill every project you're on. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's yeah. a blessing that people are still rocking with me for 30 some years plus. You know what I mean? So I'm thankful that I'm still lasting. I definitely got a lot to say. I still got a lot to say. I got groups, you know what I mean? I got family members, you know what I mean? All of that, that, you know, it, 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 it brushed off of me onto them. So, you know, it's time to start living my life through my family, you know what I mean? That, that's got this guy given talent as well. So that's the pitch. But right now, it's ultimate gangster shit out right now on all platforms. Wherever they slap and they slap. And if they tap into my website, uh, thechill.com, you know what I mean? I got hard copies and I got merch and vintage stuff like you know, comp is most wanted vinyl, vinyls, or, you know, hats, and lighters, and, you know, I got a weed strand, pineapple chill. So, you know, oh, God is good, man. I'm working. I got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely, everyone go check that out. I got I got the album as well, and I've been banging it. It's awesome. It's, oh, man, I'll be that. Every song on there is, is definitely something you don't want to miss. It's, it's a perfect Perfect recipe. Yeah, I worked in on it. You know what I mean? I went in on it. It was under pressure at some point. And then it was out of, you know, let me get some brownie points. Let me show motherfuckers that, you know, I still got it. I got something to say. And really keeping it 100, I make it look easy. But this is hard work. You know what I mean? But it comes easy when you're good. You know what I mean? And you got a passion for it. So this has been my passion since 16 years old. I am now 52. Still rocking. Yeah. Yeah, he's still still killing it, man. That's that's awesome. Yeah, prop fifty two years young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look good, man. That. Thank you, brother. If one song that got me too is a one you did a couple in my mind a couple of years ago, the purge. That was awesome. Yeah, that was on my album uh, Elephant. I had dropped that last year. Um, it did well. Um, actually, I'm going to remaster that album. Yeah. and put it out with a couple of new jams. 
I got the merch for that as well, uh, with the hard copies and everything. I did my thing with that project. I was living in Vegas at the time, you know, and that album got slapped on there too. I got Cool Joe from the Goody Mob on there, you know, Cocaine and uh, Debo. You know what I mean? All these people that people wouldn't expect me to be getting down with is on there. Um, I got videos that I haven't released for that for that project, so I'm gonna re-release it. You know what I mean? You know, Elephant, the, the remastered version. You know what I mean? After I get finished with this Ultimate Gangster shit run. I also got a documentary I'm working on. It's called Compass Best Kept Secret. You know what I mean? Because either people know me from producing or they know me from rapping. So I want to be able to tell my story and put it on a platform where people understand exactly who I am. People always be like, chill, you know, that's chill the producer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's chill from Compass Most Wanted. So I'm trying to tell my story to mix the two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people will be like, wow. And keeping it 100, I like that. You yep. know what I mean? But now I think it's time for me to go ahead and tell my story. Yeah. That, that's, so you can, yeah, you can do everything. There's so much to you. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, indeed. And what, what's what's been your favorite project to work on? Um, I really don't have a favorite. I got different moments for them. Yep. You know what I mean? It just shows. For me, they like time capsules. I can go back and, you know, see where I was at and see my growth. You know what I mean? Or if I'm not growing, then it's like, okay, I'm wasting time. You know, so far, so good. I'm growing. Every project got its own distinctive era or vibe to it. You know what I mean? It was what I was on at the time. Like, you listen to Forward 80, it's different from Forehead. You know what I mean? You listen to Forehead, it's different from Elephant. You know, and definitely Ultimate Gangster is different than all of them. You know what I mean? So, you know, they all have their own time gap. Yep. You know what I mean? So I would say all of them is my favorite because it just shows my growth. Yeah, definitely. Even if you go back to California and Windchill Factor and all that, you know what I mean? If you listen to that, it's, it's just so different right now. Yeah. Chill Stramental. Chill Stramental, you know what I mean? Yeah. 30 OGs, First Generation, you know, all the eight projects, all the CMW projects, everything got their own vibe to it. Yeah. 30 OGs, that, that's the group with uh, Cocaine and Trey D. And Weasel Low, is that is that right? And the East Side? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Dirty OGs, yeah, me, Corrupt, Weasel, Trady, Cocaine. Yeah, yeah, we still that. You know what I mean? We always going to be that. We just ain't got in the studio and made no new records, but we got enough records to put out an, another album right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just ran on our own endeavor. You know what I mean? But they're my dirty brothers forever. Definitely. Oh, I definitely want to see a new album out now. From That would be cool. I've seen a lot of those guys on, on um, yeah, your new project as well. Yeah, yeah, we all we all on each other project. Where yeah. you from, bro? Australia, Western Australia. I see. Yeah. Got you. What part of Australia? Western. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm originally from the east coast, but I moved to the west. So you got it. Okay, so you got an east coast Australian accent. Yeah. You laid back, bro. I get it. <laughs> All right. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. I was, yeah. For, <laughs> and now I'm living in like a, yeah, like a small uh, working town in in Western Australia. So, yeah, just been doing this. Um, What's up, man? Yeah. Australia, man. All my kangaroo buddies out there. Yeah, for sure. You have to come out here, man. That's cool. Yeah, I've been before, you know what I'm saying? I actually had an artist that I was working for. Her name is Nina. Nina yeah. Lee put out, a, oh, I didn't put it out. They put it out, her and her mother, but I produced it. Um, They're from Melbourne. Yeah. And okay. uh, oh, oh, you stupid. Did y'all hear that around there? Yeah. I, I mean, these my I used to check it out. Uh, yeah, you know, go on YouTube and put Nina, Nina Lee. Yep. And the song is called oh, You Stupid, produced by me. Okay. You know, it's a cool little, you know, female track, you know what I mean? But, you know, I put my print out there in the Aussie. You know what yeah. I mean? That's cool. Yeah, I rock. Man, yeah. definitely. We rock with you as well. What's your top three favorite movies of all time? My top three? Um, Man, that's a good one. One of them be, uh, what's that movie with, um, with, with uh, Forrest Whitaker, when he played Bumpy Johnson, oh, Harlem. Yeah. Hoodlum. 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 Yeah. Hoodlum is one of them. He's uh, a good actor. 
of course, I got to say Menace to Society. Yeah. Um, and then I got to say Juice. Man, yeah. You no, know, three ain't fair because I got more than three. You know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, just off the top of the brain, them is some go-to movies that I like watching. Yeah. You know, I can go Crush Groove. I can go Breaking. Yeah. I can go B Street. You know what I mean? I can go, yeah. you know, it's so many. You know what I mean? But, you know, off the top of the dome, that's yeah. my three. Yeah, that's cool. That's good choices, too. I like Beat Street. Someone put me onto that this year. That was cool. Yeah, Beat Street, that's that's our culture. You know what I mean? That's the East Coast. That was our window into New York. Yeah. You know what I mean? To see how they were rocking. Breaking was everybody's window into the West Coast to see how we were rocking out here in Compton in Los Angeles, Long Beach, Inglewood, Watch. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that was our window. You know what I mean? And that was our window. You know what I mean? To see how the culture was at that time. You know, as well as, you know, when it grew into, you know, we start seeing how the projects was in New York, you know what I mean, through different MCs like Jay-Z and DMX and all these different people, you know what I'm saying? And then they were seeing how the hood was. We were yep. dealing with accomplishments wanted and DJ Quick and Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pound, you know what I mean, West Side Connection, you know what I mean, and all of that, you know what I mean? So yep. all of this stuff is different windows, you know what I mean? And music is universal, you know what I mean? But it's dope that those movies was a window off into our culture. You know what I mean? Shout out to Breaking and Crush Groove and, and B Street. You know what I mean? Because we wouldn't know what was going on in New York if it wasn't for the, the movie. Well, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That, that it, you know, shows the culture and, and how he's linked up and, and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Uh, what, indeed. Who, who do you look up to? Like, you know, you got a lot of young people that look up to you with what you do with music. I do. Yeah, you know, he's, I see you got heaps of love on everywhere. Yeah, you know, shout out to the homies, man. You know, don't be like me, be better. You know, what I mean, be better than me. That's what I can give them. But one of those who I look up to is, you know, people I look up to ain't musical. You know, what I mean, I look up to my family. You know, what I mean, I look up to my woman. You know, the people that, that inspire me, I look up to my kids. You know what I mean? I look up to my close, close friends. You know what I mean? That keep me on my feet when I feel like giving up. You know what I mean? If it's an entertainment, an entertainer or something like that, I know what it takes to be that. So, yeah. you know, that ain't 100% them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know them personally for them to be looked up to. I look eye to eye with them because I know what they're doing to survive. Same thing I'm doing. You know what I mean? They hustling. We all hustling. That's it. That's you cool. the floor, son. Huh? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Oh, what's if it, what, what advice would you give to someone who just wanted to start out in music or anything really? The advice I got them is be they self. You know what I mean? Do something that's never been done before. You know what I mean? Use your brain. You know what I mean? It's, don't just buy equipment because you got a couple of dollars. You know what I mean? And just think you're going to be dope off the back. Spend some time trying to do something that's better than what's out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stand out, be different. You know what I mean? And, you know, just make sure you take care of your business. You know, it's the music business. So, yeah. anything with business means that you're trying to sell something. So, give us something that we can buy. You know what I mean? And, you know, be prosperous. In it, you know what I mean? Try to leave some money for your kids. Try to, you know, leave some money for your for the ones you love. You know what I mean? Instead of just dying and just go everywhere. That's the advice I got to give them. Make sure you last. Make sure you last to get some pepper and whiskers like me. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Like me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice. And yeah, I got I gotta ask you, you've worked with so many different people. I'm trying to, you know, a lot of my favorites as well. Is is there someone you haven't worked with yet that you want to that you really want to work with? You know what? Well, I got friends. I know a lot of people in this industry, and I've done a lot for so many different people. A lot of different people, you know what I mean? But if I had a go-to, you know, like I had the opportunity to work with Red Man. That's my guy. He ended up being a friend of mine. Every time we see each other's love. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen Buster Rhymes in a while. You know what I mean? You know, I've seen him in passion, like going and watching shows. Maybe, um, maybe we on the same bill or something. And, you know, we just in passion. You know, shout out to Smithers. Star, that's my guy, but I would love to rock with Bus. You know what I mean? I think his, his energy is just impeccable. Uh, I've always been a fan since Leaders of New School. Um, you know, 
I think he's a cool brother, cool stern brother out of New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think that would be a good melt. You know what I mean? So, you know, bust, split, yeah. make it happen. I got something for the flip mode. That's right out of camp. Busta and the Chill on the same album, man. Yeah, that will be... Yeah. I like that unorthodox shit. That shit be kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, you chill and bust the rhymes. Like, that's, that's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's different. Yeah, my kids are in the pool, so... Nah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Family, that's where it's at, man. That's cool. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. Would you would you produce the music as well, or would you, and rap on there with with Buster? Say that again. If you put a song yeah. together with Buster, would you be producing it and rapping on it? I think I will. I, I think I would want to let Bust it, it, it be Bust. Well, yeah. Of course, you know what I'm saying. I would want to work with him. You know what I'm saying. And get down with him on that mic because yeah. I can hang. I got balls. You know what I'm saying. Definitely. But, I want to have the opportunity to see what he sounds like on my rhythm. Yeah. I mean, because I give him a cold ass parent, uh, a cold ass pa- uh, pattern. Yeah. Because I know he can, he can handle it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Me as a producer, I've done so many, so many things to so many people on different cultures and out the country and countries. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I'll be trying to find something different or who can enhance it or who can accommodate it. Yeah. You know what I mean, I know Red Man, he can he can accommodate it. I know Bus can accommodate it as well as, you know, God bless the memory of Nipsey Hussle. I know he could yeah. accommodate it anything I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know, somebody that dares to be different. You know what I mean? You know, needless to say, the H, the Snoop Dogs. And, you know what I mean? I rock with them, but I pretty much know where to go with them. And I know what they can handle. I know what they're feeling. You know what I mean? What vibe they on. You know what I mean? I want to... I want to rock with somebody that ain't scared of being different, like ludicrous. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, something like that. You know what I mean? Andre 3000. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder what we would come with. Yeah. You know what I mean? That'd be awesome. M, 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 you know what I mean? It'd be different. Yeah. It'd be different. You know what I mean? Definitely. That's right. I was yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome, man. You and you and Em would kill it as well. Yeah, I love the work that you've done with MC Ren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Osiris, man. Shout out to my brother Ren, man. That's my yeah. sensei. I mean, me and you know, Ren. You know, Ren is the one that gave me my break. You know what I mean? For just putting me in the right path for who to deal with. You know what I'm saying? As well as he doubled back and gave me that sign as being a producer. You know, so you know, whenever he calls, I make myself available. You know what I mean? That's my guy right there for life. You know what I mean? And you know, he called me. He said, "Man, I'm ready to rock." I'm like, let's go. I started feeding. He was, he was eating. You know what I mean? And you know, the outcome is Os- Osiris. It's out right now on every platform. Go bang Osiris by MC Ren, produced by the Chill. That's a crazy EP right there. Yeah, definitely fire. I got that as well. Um, so, oh, I've got all your albums on, that are on iTunes. I always buy, love to buy music and load up my my iPod, my computer with it. That's that's cool. That's so, up, so everyone go and buy it as well. That's what's up. That's what's up. Who'd be your top three artist of all time? Doesn't have to be rap or hip hop. Just like your top three musicians. They wouldn't be my top three, but t- three off the top of the brain would be um, Sade, Barry White, yeah. Quincy Jones. Yeah, legendary right there. Yeah. So, see, I, I love love them as well, man. That's cool. Yeah, yeah good taste, good choices. But what's what's going to be your next project? Are you allowed to talk about it? or is it, I know you had just yeah. dropped this as a I'm, documentary. Yeah, I'm working on the Compass Best Kept Secret. That's my documentary. Yeah. Um, as well as uh, I'm working on this, you know, this EP is different. You know, like I say, I'm on some different shit. It's with my boy Black Thompson. Yeah. Watching the wrong thing, sex and shit. You know what I mean? You know, fly suits and all that type of shit. Yeah. Uh, we're working on an EP. That should be ready uh, this summer, August, end of August, or something like that. Uh, 
some live bands, you know, stuff like that. Um, I got my son, Shinko, 500. You know what I mean? They ready to jump off the porch, do their thing. I got some of my childhood buddies, home team, uh, dog man, Compton. Um, yeah, I'm just working, man. You know what I mean? We're just doing stuff. You know what I mean? Shout out to my homeboy, Ray, Westlife. You know what I mean? That's the shoot all our visuals. You know, we thinking about, you know, we stay conquering up shit. Like, let's do a movie. Let's do this type of video. Let's do that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, whatever. We conquer up, you know what I mean, for the day. We get it done. Um, But my main thing right now is um concentrating on Ultimate Gangster shit. Yeah. As well as the conference FC documentary. And you, get, and you always got awesome videos, too. Who makes all your, you know, for your, mu- like your music, who makes your music videos? Yeah, that's all my boy Ray, man, Westlife, man. Check him out, you know what I mean, at Westlife on Instagram. You know what I mean? He's been doing a lot of work, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's a great, great, great friend of mine. That's really somebody I consider a brother, you know, to me. Um, you know, me and him, we started right before the pandemic, through the pandemic, and we're still going, you know what I mean? So yeah. we got something that we'll never let go. You know what I mean? Shout out to him, you know what I mean? He's the one working on my documentary with me. He's working to shoot all my videos. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, you know, all the reels on Instagram and all that good stuff. We fly drones, and, yeah. you know, we look at camera and, you know, all that type of stuff. He's a real cool cat. You know what I mean, That's follow cool. West Life. Man. Definitely. I'll check, check him out. That's cool, man. Yeah, cause I was just wondering because every time I watch your video, it's always cool. It was cool stuff going on. and It looks really well done. That's what's up, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, cool. I love it, love it. I was gonna, I wanted to ask you about um the forehead album. Um, yeah, how, boy, yeah, how did that come about? That was awesome. I got that as well. I was in a good space, you know yeah. what I mean, and I was feeling a little partyish. Yeah. You know, I was, I had a low rider, you know what I mean. I was riding around in a low rider, and you know, I just wanted to make music, you know, incorporate in that, you know, like the theme of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, Man, it's crazy because that album started. All my kids got big foreheads. All of them got big foreheads. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. it's really a dedication to all of us. You know what I mean? To them. Yeah. And That's you know, cool. shout out to my you know what I mean, my guy that do all my artwork. Yeah. He said I got an idea and he came with the cover, with the skull, with the bullet in it. Like yeah. right through the foreheads, you know what I mean? <laughs> but meaning, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, we want this music to get you right to the head. Right to the head. Your neck gonna do this, the back gonna do this. You know what I mean? So that was the idea for it. Um, I'm thinking about working on forehead too. You know what I mean? Because I'm feeling that way. Partyish. That'd be so cool. Be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just had to bring up bring up that because I don't know why, but for some reason I always listen to that album out of yours. But yeah. Yeah, forehead did what it was supposed to. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I, I, it's still streaming. You know what I mean? People still rocking it. I still perform it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to Free and cocaine and, yeah. you know everybody that was part of that project you know what i mean that was a dope project for you. yeah definitely yeah cocaine again legend he's cool yeah, me and cocaine on every project we got you know what yeah. i mean shout out to him and shit three they got the sugar cane out there right now yeah I mean, jam on called uh put the chip in yeah. and uh you know shout out to dad's a little easy too i produced a, a, a jam called uh you know who you are on there. And then shout out to my partner, MC8. You know what I mean? I'm on his album, Lessons 2. You know what I mean? Yeah. On a few jams. You know, we pushing out here on the West, man. Yeah. Old Salt Pepper guy's got something to say. He's got the best music, man. That's, that's yeah. what it's at. But, man, you. it sounds like you're non-stop working. Nah, stop, man. I'm just going. It's all a vibe to me. I, I just tell you, my energy is great, and I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm surrounded, you know, with Greatness. I mean, shout out to Coolio, rest in peace, my homie Wino, Bayleaf, you know I mean, Kabup, you know what I mean, Dog Pound, JD, you know what I mean, Mob, you know what I mean, yeah. We just, we just in this circle of work, man. We just work. You know what I mean, all gas, man. Right. Definitely. I, I got I mean, that. Got political pressure, you know what I mean? I think going with those two, too. Yeah. I got, I got that little easy and Daz album, too. That's cool. And Lil Easy and Daz, they working. You know that thing? Shout out to Lil E. Yeah. Daz Dilla. For sure. Yeah. I was wanted to ask you, like, doing everything, is there any, 
you produce, rap. I, I guess we'll find out in the documentary. But is there anything else that you like to do when you're not making music? Yeah, what I'm doing now. Sitting up with my kids. My mother is right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? My children is right there. You know, they're in the swimming pool over there having a good time. My mom's having a great time watching her grandbaby swim around. I'm sitting here smoking weed. That's having cool. me a cocktail. You know what I mean? Just enjoying the sun, man. This, this is what I like to do people regular. You know what I mean? You know, I get with the homies. We have a drink, go low ride, and play dominoes, all that good shit. But, you know, personally, this is what I like to do. Sit back with my family and chill. Yeah. The chill. That's awesome, man. Cool. Yeah. I, I reckon it'd be it'd be awesome to see a song of like if you're on a track with the outlaws as well. I reckon that'd be awesome. Yeah, shout out to the Oak L man and my guy, Edie and Nob and my dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. we always gonna rock with them. Definitely. They, they got some yeah, awesome music like, too. Yeah, that's thug like shit. Eight high thugs, thug like small thugs, thug nation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just want to I want to take it back to to Compton's most wanted. Uh, you and you and eight are you, are you gonna have got something new coming out soon or? We're talking about it. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's all a vibe when we still in it. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm on my the gangster and he on his left too. But you know, we still doing spot dates, doing shows, and you know, I talk to my bro every day. You know what I mean? He's good. You know, that's my partner. We just we just grown now. We ain't. We had them kids to where we wake up and drink a 40 and play PlayStation. You know what I mean, he got things he got to do. I got things I got to do. I mean, but that don't stop that. We see, we see on W forever, both of us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love, yeah. love 8, too. Like, he's he's still putting out awesome music, and both of you just kill it. Yes, indeed. That's my guy. What would be uh, your favorite? Like, um, do you have, like, favorite books? That's inspired you. I'm I'm not you know I I'm on the computer so much reading programs. Yeah. You know I, I said it the other day I said I want to sit down and give me a good book to fall off into. Um, I haven't in, in a while. But uh, if I had a go to books that I've read, I read I like gangster shit. I mean I read El Chapo. You yeah. know what I mean, and I watched the series. You know what I mean, like. You know, I like something that's going to draw me off into it as well as teach me a little something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like have gun, will travel. You know what I mean? That was interesting to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, stuff that, you know, not a story, not these fake-ass stories, you know what I mean, about some situation because it's going to make me be judgmental to it or some, why they do that. You know what I mean? I would have did it like this. So I, yeah. The whole book, I'd be good if I it instead of reading it. But if it's something that I can learn from, something that I'm into or, or something that I know about, you know what I mean? And they telling me A to, A to Z what really happened. I think that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. That's a good way of looking at it, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, like you got a good outlook on on everything. How long does it take you if, you know, once you're in the studio, are you just constantly – in everyday work and putting together al- my music, albums, and h- how long would it take you to put a song together? Oh, man, shit. Once I get going and I get focused on it, you know, it takes me a day to do shit. Yeah. Two songs, two, three songs. You know, it's just the vibe, you know what I'm saying? You know, whatever the beat telling me to do. So I listen to the music, melody, or get an idea for some, you know, an instrument or something, and I can't just let it sit. Tomorrow, I'm not going to have that vibe. I'm going to have a whole totally different vibe. So yep. I try to get it down, at least an idea. You know what I mean? And yep. It ain't no stopping from there. I like to complete. I don't like to have stuff that's flinging around. I like to complete it. So once I get started, I don't stop until it's done. Well, that's good. Yeah, focus. Yeah, I know some people, they could start something, move to the next thing, and, you know, they never finish anything. But you just... Yeah, I got to finish it. Man, the album with MC Ren is it Osiris? Yeah, Osiris. Yeah. Yeah. How did that yeah. one come about? Because I hadn't heard anything for a while, and then you dropped that. That's like gem. I said, that's like I said, Ren had a uh, reached out. You know what I mean, and wanted me to produce something for him. And like I said, you know what I mean. When he called, I make myself available. 
I mean, like, come on, that's a rock and roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, I rock for Ren. That's my guy. That's Definitely. Yeah, legendary. Right. Um, yeah, Ultimate. I want to talk about more Ultimate Gangster shit. How long were you working on that for? Does that feel like you just popped that out of nowhere? It took me like about two months to do that project. Yeah. About two months. Yeah, you got 14 tracks on there. It's all fire. 14 leaders, man. Yeah, man. I love it. I love the song Culture as well. Um, yeah. No Money with Corrupt and Cocaine. That's another banger. Oh, yeah. I'm about to drop the video to that next week. Wow, that'll be awesome! Can't wait because you got you got a couple of videos out now, right? With the yeah. knock, knock out, and I got pipe down with my son. Yeah, that's the one I seen pipe down. Yeah, uh, Cinco Five Hundred. Excuse me, DJ. My yeah. son, that's that's cool. Man, they got a lot of stuff. They be doing SoundCloud and all that type of stuff. Yeah, you know I mean. Trying to put them on a bigger platform now. Y'all yeah. be on the lookout for Cinco Five Hundred and DJ Sports. Got something to say? Yeah, that's cool. That'd be an awesome feeling working with your son too. Oh yeah, man, totally cool. He got it on it. Yeah, that's awesome. He'd be. He must be so excited as well. Mm-hmm. About the California as well. Oh, back in the days, that was my yeah. first attempt to put on the record myself. You know, shout out to Darren Vegas. My boy Uni, you know what I mean? The whole clan, you know what I mean? Uh, California. Um, you know, they're my partners out of Orange County. And they really were showing me something as well as, you know, they needed me for something, you know what I mean? And, you know, we always be friends, been friends. You know, yeah. I'm the type of dude, I don't like to just sit around and do nothing. We partners and we know how to do this, so let's do something. You know, me, Darren Vegas, the homie Walt Steele, you know, Uni, Udro, Bagman, Big Time, you know what I mean? You know, they, they, they put they both the dice for me and Darren, you know what I mean? And uh yeah. we went and got a deal, a ribbon deal or something like that. And you know, of course we got fucked, you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, it was a great experience being in the studio in the big studio with the the vintage spot, um um Echo Sound. You know I mean a real vintage spot out here in California. A lot of people recorded there, Julio, Ice Cube, yeah. most one. A lot of people, you know what I mean? That whole run was dope, you know what I mean? But the business, I think we was having more fun than paying, paying attention to business. <laughs> but yeah, that album is out right now as well, uh, streaming, California Organization. Oh, yeah. back, I think we did that in 96, something like that. Yeah, it's awesome. I got that as well. Yeah, I, see, I hear a lot. I, I'm a, a lot of shady yeah, business in the music industry, like you're just saying. If you're not focused, what, what advice would you have for people just starting? If you could go back and tell yourself. You know, it's a cutthroat business. You know what I mean? You know, you can't trust nobody. That's 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 what I would tell my younger self. Don't trust nobody. You know what I mean? In some cases, don't even trust yourself. You know what I mean? Meaning, you know, nobody knows when they can put the breaking shit down. To yeah. You know what I mean? But really, it ain't hard. You know what I mean? If you wrote the song and, and you perform it on the song, you know, make sure a dude get his points. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, you know, you're just part of the group, you know what I mean, or whatever, and you ain't working, then you don't get paid. You don't work, you don't eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell, man, fuck what you owe, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the bottom line. You know what I mean? person ain't paying a motherfucker. Then, it, it, you know, this is a cut though business. You know what I mean? But, you know, you can't really blame everybody all the time because sometimes, you know, People don't know what they're doing. They just doing what they think is best. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You know, but what they think is best ain't always good for the next person. Yeah. You know, so, you know, my young, I would tell my younger self to, you know, do everything myself. You know what I mean? Like, really learn this shit and then dive in. But I ain't got no regrets because it made me who I am today. Yeah, definitely. I yeah, I ain't bitter about shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's cool man and yeah there's a lot to learn and like you said that's that's great advice you know if you can pass that on to someone else and it helps one other person that's cool yeah right. yeah i'd love to see 
more of dirty OGs. Yeah, as well, man. Yeah, they're my dirty brothers, man. Shout out to Big Trade East, Weasel Low. Well, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? The whole clan that got out on that project. You know, Rick Rock. You know what I mean? The whole girl, little Zazzy dancing. My boy, Jay Smith. You know what I mean? Yeah, Shooting yeah. the rotate videos. Rest in peace to, you know, uh, my boy, Tracks. You know what I mean? Shot the Lick video. And uh, the other video, uh, Dirty OGs. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had a, a good run with that project. All these projects got their own, you know, got their own vibe to it. You know what I mean? And that was definitely a great vibe. You know what I mean? Doing the Dirty OG project. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's awesome talking to you. Absolutely legendary. Always watching, listening to you as well. So it's it's pretty cool moment for me. No. Being able to talk to you. Man, um, no doubt, man. I'm gonna get out of here, man. Yeah. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? But much love, though, man. What's the name of your show again? Thomas Berryman TV. Let me give you a drop. What's up with it? Just chill. You know what I'm saying? And I'm rocking with Thomas Barham and TV. You know what I'm saying? Confidence in the building. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. CMW in the building. Ultimate Gangster Shit is now. Go follow me at the Chill CMW. T H A T H I L L with the real blue check. The boy Chill. What's up, man? Thank <laughs> you, brother. That was awesome. So. Thanks for having me, man. I'm going to get out of here, man. All right, man. Go enjoy your time with your family. And, yeah, appreciate you coming on, man. Thanks for having me, man. Peace and love. Thank you, bro.